Hi everybody, welcome back to the Goodell Life. Happy holiday season. I hope that you are getting into the spirit no matter what holiday it is that you celebrate. So for us, I'm going to be making some extra ornaments for our Christmas tree. I absolutely love the look of the feather ornaments I see in stores, but they range anywhere from five to seven dollars a piece, which is a little bit too rich for my blood. And um, I figured, well, why can't I make it myself? Now, these aren't exactly like some of the ones I saw since they were more of a flat uh, feather look, but the dollar store was all out of those feathers, so I decided to grab a boa and see what I could come up with. So before we get into this, I just want to say thanks everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, hit that red subscribe button below and you can follow along to see all sorts of different videos I do. So. Thanks for joining us. Now, what I did for this for supplies is went to the, it's just called the dollar store. It's not even has a name. That wasn't right English, proper English. I'm just making this worse, aren't I? The name of the store is just the dollar store. It doesn't have any other proper or formal name. But what I started out with is I got a pack of six foam balls and two boas and then some of this um, twine jute, jute twine, whatever you want to call it. You can use ribbon, but I didn't ha see any ribbons I liked, so I thought this might be the easiest part. Now, I have mine in little cups. Oh, and you'll want scissors that you don't care about. I'll explain that in a minute. A hot glue gun and a whole ton of hot glue. I have gone through a bag and a half making mine so far of the little bags but I've got a hundred spare because it's honestly like the god of crafting supplies hot glue you can make anything with it including clothing in a pinch so this is so this is kind of just where we're at so I've already pre-cut my piece of twine that I'm going to make for my holder to go onto the tree now I find it easiest if I wrap it kind of into a loopy loop and then you're going to hot glue down the center. You're going to want to have this, let's say that's about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. I don't really know. I'm not very good at guesstimating size, much to Joe's approval. So um, you're going to do that and then hot glue gun it down in the middle. Now having a bowl for this makes your life so much easier and saves your fingerprints. This is also why you want scissors you do not care about because they will be your third hand and protect your fingerprints from the hot glue. This is not a craft for those who are afraid of getting burned, just forewarning you. So got my hot glue gun, got this great little hot glue gun stand for $2, which is so handy. Take this, I'm just going to put a big old dollop right in the middle. And when you've been doing this for an hour and you have a collection of feathers everywhere, be careful to not breathe too heavily on the feathers or now you have Christmas now and uh, a great chore afterwards for cleaning up. So that's that. So I'm just going to take this, carefully place it down in the middle and grab my scissors to press her in. Just really to get it in because this one has more kind of fibers and threads being a twine I really want to make sure that it adheres nicely now some of the tutorials I saw online it said to put a pin in through the ribbon now because I didn't use ribbon I didn't think a pin would work well I also didn't have any pins and like I said doing this on the dime so I did not want to buy any pins when I need like 12 and they come in a pack of 100. That just seemed really wasteful for me. So instead, I am taking full advantage of my copious amounts of hot glue that I just always own. Um, it is a staple in this household because what we like to call this time of year from about September to January is Alyssa sweatshop season since um, in our old apartment, which I miss so much sometimes, 
I actually had my own craft room and craft desk and it was glorious for times like this and a proper sized dining room table. However, now I just have my um, coffee table, which is fine. I make it work. I just try to, itchy nose. I just try to protect my surfaces a little bit more and I'm aware that I'm going to have to clean the rug super good afterwards. So after a couple seconds, this is all in lifetime. You can see it's already holding enough. So I'm going to take this, glue down the sides some more. Do one side at a time so that you don't completely hurt yourself. Take your scissors again and press her back down in. Now you might be wondering, Alyssa, how did you decide to use scissors for everything? Well, let me tell you, I should have had a glass of cold water here while doing this since I have burnt myself several times when I was doing the first couple to figure out what I wanted to do with them. Thankfully, I, I mean I have six to practice with, but it hurt a lot and I couldn't drop anything because it would fall on my very expensive carpet. The one like expensive, well no, we have three very expensive things not including our bed in here. And it's this coffee table, that clock, and this rug. And unfortunately, crafts involve two of the three. So I really had to decide to sacrifice my fingers over my carpet because the person who worked there and got us a staff discount no longer works there. And so um, that really sucks for my home decor. Good for my wallet. But you know, she's on to better pastures, better job environment and a store that is now significantly out of my price range. <laughs> the other one was like manageably just out of so I could save up for. The store she's at now is like much nicer but gorgeous gorgeous home decor but not in my current lifestyle range. So now you've got that on there it's all good. So Oops. Then you're going to take your boa and you're going to kind of half-ass measure around your little sphere foam ball. And I find it easiest to glue it, I'm holding it this way, like this, right in the middle. Because you're going to do a couple gluings, and by a couple I mean a whole ton. But after I've done this a few times, I found that one gave me the most coverage with the least amount of boa, if that makes sense. So I've pretty much used a whole boa and done five, which is pretty good. Um, I did buy two boas, not knowing how many I'd need, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to just try to use the leftovers for this buddy, but we'll see. So this one here, I glued around in the middle. And then you're going to want to take um, a little piece of the boa, um, enough to make like a circle. So then you'd want to take a big dollop of glue, place it in the middle. Best to hold it upside down and kind of hold the feathers down with your hand so that they don't get in the way of your glue. And then you're going to put the other part of the boa just right in the middle. Kind of just how you did before. When you do that, you get something that looks a little bit like this. Now there's going to be some bald spots in there, so I find it easiest to just kind of peel pieces back like this. That part's a little bit bald, needs a little bit of love. Take your glue gun, hold it above the feathers, otherwise you're going to really regret life and it's going to pull the feathers off of it. And then you're just going to take some of the loose feathers and plop her back down onto it. So you don't need to add additional boa. You can just actually use the feathers that are already on there and squish her back down a little bit. Something else that I found has been very helpful is if you have like a little bit of a bald spot and say you don't want to use the feathers that are out or you're out of feathers, um, and everything's pressed down. As you take this, 
this works after you've done a couple of them. I should admit that. Take your glue, find kind of your bald spot or spot that you think needs a little bit more love. Just do big old, like messy, like not clean, not organized. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Hold down as many feathers as you can so they don't get in the way. And just plop right into that pile of discarded feathers. And then you're gonna shake it a little bit. See what can come off of this. Give it a couple pats. You can feel where the heat is, so I mean, don't hold your hand there too terribly long. You'll probably end up regretting life a little bit. But you can just kind of get that in there. So basically, after that point, you just kind of want to like keep doing that until you feel that your little fluff ball is full enough. Keep putting piles of glue, smashing it into your reject feathers, folding feathers over. You know, do what you need to do. It's okay even to trim a bit and then see where you're at. So that's where I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna give this little guy a haircut. I mean, if you like it to kind of look like a little bit of a dead chicken, that's fine. Do what you need to do. I'm not judging. Everyone's decor is a little bit different. Um, I mean, I don't like poultry much. Um, like birds when they're alive, I should say. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Um, I, they, have, they all hate me though. Like they sense that I'm near and they attack. So um, yeah, but that's, so, I mean, if you, you wanted it to look like a dead bird, I could see that being like something somebody might wanna do. You just give it a little bit of a trim, take a bit off the top, you know, see, but it uh, looks a little bit more reasonable. There you go. Yeah. I might add some more feathers to this guy. But this one here, he's pretty much complete. So I think they look pretty cute. I mean, you essentially make six for the price of one in a store. And um, I made my holders at the top kind of long because our tree branches are pretty thick so I didn't want to have to worry about bending it or really forcing it onto the tree branch. But yeah I think that'll add some cute little detail so um, if you make any let me know either send me a comment down below I'm on Instagram at the Goodell Life I'll link that send me a DM tag me in it maybe we'll come up with a hashtag won't be hashtag chicken balls though because I feel like that might come up with something really inappropriate. Fluff balls? I don't know. If you think of something, put it in the comments. And again, thanks for watching. I hope to make another video of some other ornaments I'm going to make for my coworkers for our Christmas tree at work. So hopefully that'll be up as well. So have a great holiday season you all and I will see you next week. Bye for now.